Hey everybody, Dr. David Wank here from Short Hills Design. And in this video, what I want to do is very quickly just go over for you visually the difference between Genesis, Oxygen Builder, and Divi. Now, as an agency, that's my perspective. We are, we, I, my, the team, we're well-versed in code. We like CSS. We like the idea of a visual drag and drop, but we are used to doing it from the level of coding. And so for that reason, and from the codex, we don't like short codes, code, code, code. So take this video with a grain of salt in that perspective because we are experienced web developers, we run an agency, and for us, the most important thing is that we have consistency and that we have reliability of the system that we're using. We can't be in a position where if a, an update is released that it breaks you know, 50 client websites. So that being said, let's take a look. So Genesis theme, the first thing about Genesis, I love Genesis, we've been using it for years. Uh, the big advantage of Genesis is that they don't really give you much. Some people might call that a disadvantage. It is not a drag and drop. And Genesis is, there are certain things that you can do with Genesis. Genesis uses hooks to get you into where you want to go uh, for certain areas in the website or in the on the page. So for example, if you want to add something underneath the, the page title or into the header or after a blog post, you use a Genesis hook in the code. Now, so let's just take a look what Genesis gives you. You get theme settings, simple hooks, you can import and export, and Genesis has some plugins. So here's what Genesis gives you. Now, you can do your site identity, which gives you the standard stuff that you would see, colors, the header media, background image you can choose, bang use widgets, specific homepage settings that we see everywhere, and some theme settings. Well, what kind of layout do you want? And basic stuff. So that is really what Genesis can do. And so it is literally a framework and for you to use Genesis effectively, in my opinion, you've got to be able to code because there's no way around it. Uh, the advantage about Genesis, what I love about Genesis, is that it doesn't break. So when I go to update this, of course, we're going to back it up. But I have never in years and years ever had a website break from updating WordPress or updating the theme using Genesis. And then simple hooks, you can see in simple hooks over here, you can, you know, there's a map. You could look it up and see where does the header hook go. And there are all sorts of hooks here. You want to add something before the content? Great, you pop it in there. And so that, that is great, and Genesis is thin, and you can do Genesis your way. And so here are just some plugins, like I like the simple social icons. You can use it, you know, as much as you want or as much as you don't want, you know, these plugins. Some of them are excellent. So that is Genesis in a nutshell. And the key is Genesis makes a few things a little bit easier, but basically you can still do what you want whenever you want without having to worry about breaking WordPress, which to us, as an agency, is huge. And if I want to change something in the code, it's very easy. I know where I am in Genesis. You make a child theme, obviously, adjust the code, boom, boom, and you're done. That's Genesis. Now, let's talk about Divi. So Divi, I just started, try, I just tried Divi. And the truth is, I think it's a good product. However, it's not such a great product for me. The problem with Divi for me is that I can't get the level of granular control that I would want, or I can, but Divi is very opinionated. Now, what's nice about Divi is you have all of these options ahead of time. So grabbing the first post image, how you want your blog style, your sidebar. So everything here for you is kind of done. And if you have a project that fits in this setup, then Divi is great. You can, you know, control your posts. What do you want to do with the builder? How do you want to do your layout? So all sorts of things like that are really good. You can, you can put your code in here if you wanted to. We use a plugin, but either way, um, you can certainly do a lot of good things with Divi. They have a theme builder and you can add a global header, which basically opens up a, here, let's do it. Let's um, build a global header from scratch. So let's go ahead and add two columns to make our header. But let's just go ahead here and we can add some text and you can add an image, you can add a logo, it doesn't really matter. We can say, this is our brand name. And then over here, we can, and there you go, you have that. You want to edit it, you could come here and let's design. We can certainly um, adjust any of these settings that you want. We can come here and let's go to, forget about sizing. Let's make a, you know, a border on the bottom of it. That's two pixels and let's make it red just so you can see. And there we go, you've got a bottom on the section now. Then we can add some social icons, social, oh, that's fine, put those there. And then we want to center those in that section. Let's come to design. So you can see there's all sorts of things that you can do here. And now, you know, you've got yourself a header in Divi. 
you want to add a let's come to the main area here we can change the color of our entire background so content background we can add an image you can add nice background well that's not nice but you can, you can certainly add you know background gradient so there are things that you can do pretty easily here and mess around with divi and do whatever you know you need to do add a background color doesn't matter so there you go so oh, you know what? let's make this white not a problem come over here design got to come to the text see i'm in the row come here over to the text and then over here design text and we could make this a little bit bold and let's make it all caps and let's make it there and i want to make this bigger actually there's our brand name oh we can add some text shadow if we wanted to and there we go and so now you've got a header in divi you can click x let's save it and so now on any pages that we would create in divi we've got this global header so that's what you can do with divi um my 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 problem with divi is that if you're going to build a site like that where it's very straightforward what you want to do you don't want to touch any code divi is the way to go now let's take a look at oxygen so oxygen is an, it's a different way to do things and i find oxygen is a very nice cross between divi and genesis and so what oxygen does is and let's take a look at the oxygen builder so here you get you know certain settings so what oxygen does i like to think of oxygen as a almost a visual CSS builder, because you're going to have to know CSS. You're going to have to work with CSS, but you get the kind of a graphical interface just to make all of that stuff go faster. And that's what I like about it. So for example, here we created a main template and, you know, you can watch tutorials how to do this, but just to show you what the interface looks like, let's see if I even made one. I don't remember. Let's see what I did. Oh, this is our SHD trading site. So of course I did. So you can see here, I made a heading and this heading exists on every page. So here is the logo that we have and I can, you know, specify all the information you want for the logo and then the background, I'm not going to change it, but everything you need, all the properties that you would need are over there. And so over here, you want to add a nice section. So it comes with a, um, some existing template and themes that you can use. You can go to the Oxygen Builder website and see them. This we pulled out of there, just like the, the layout. And I put a graphic that I liked and I put the, um, uh, the text. Now, under settings, which I really like, under page settings, you can, you can use the defaults or choose what you want. I love global settings. So you can choose global colors. That you, so here are our logo colors. So you can use that. So when you go to edit something, those colors are there. So let us, oh, I can't edit this because it's not in the header. But let's come over here for a sec. We're not going to make the change. You can see here under text color, all of a sudden it has the global colors that I added, which is really neat. And then over here, come to, let's come out to uh, headings. You can see here, you have your headings. You can set them all over there. And so these are the common things, your line height. These are the things that you would normally set, like when we're building a website as a developer. And I love that level of control. Body text, set the base there. And so, you know, there are all sorts of basic, here's widths and breakpoints you can choose. And so what this does is, there are a lot of defaults that you would use as a developer when you're building and the section containers and column defaults. So there are a lot of things that you're doing as a developer that you're going to set up. Like when we build a new site, you're going to set up a default style sheet. Now, obviously your style sheet is going to be the same for a lot of, a lot of websites because everything a lot that we do is the same. But when I was working with, this is more feels like Genesis, but in a visual way. Um, Genesis is completely unopinionated. Oxygen is not that opinionated but DV is very opinionated. And so when I wanted to say, all right, let me start out by setting all of my elements because I want all of my H1s, no matter where they are, to look the same. There was kind of, you have to add CSS, so you have to do something special to do that with DV. And I found so far that with Genesis, you do whatever you want and you do it in the code. With Oxygen, you do whatever you want to do and you do it, um, you could do it in the code or most of the information you want is over here. If you want to use, you know, Flexbox, all, so all this stuff is there. You want to do kind of a weird overlay. You could certainly do it, but Divi is going to, it's very hard to do it in Divi. Again, easy to do in, in Genesis if you want that ability to, you know, get all under the code. But Oxygen combines a visual builder with this ability to see what you're doing at the same time, but let's really get under the hood. And I really think it's developed well. Uh, what remains to be seen is when you have a website with Oxygen and you update it, is it going to break? Is it going to crack? I know that I've been told, I've been read, because I've used a little bit of Divi, that 
if you have a lot of custom code with Divi, Divi's going to overwrite it, people have said, when you go to update Divi, which is very frightening to me. Obviously, with WordPress, when we design, we've been doing it for a decade or more, we always use a child theme. And so what I'm wondering to see is what's going to happen with Oxygen when we try and update, and we'll see. So right now, Genesis, if you're a developer and you like coding and you're not afraid of coding and you think it's great, Genesis is absolutely the way to go. If you want to try something hybrid and you're not afraid to back up, because again, I don't know what's going to happen when Oxygen updates. This is a great product so far. So I can't imagine that the team behind Oxygen is going to make it so everything breaks when you do that. But, you know, it's yet to be seen for me personally. And Divi, if you want to build a basic website, drag and drop, without too much of a complex layout, and you like one of their pre-built designs, then I think Divi is a great way to go. So at the end of the day, it really depends on what you want to do, what your skill level is, and what you want to achieve. Genesis does have themes that are built in, and um, you have to download them. They're okay. They're not really stylish. I mean, of, of the three, Divi has gorgeous um, pre-built things. Absolutely gorgeous. And some of them in Oxygen are really, really nice as well. Oxygen has very, very nice modern designs, and I like that, but there aren't a ton of them. Divi has a ton of them. Genesis has a few. So, and in terms of the price, um, they're all about the same. I think Genesis is $130 or $150 for a website, single site license. Oxygen is about the same, and I think you get an unlimited license. And um, Divi is a bit more expensive. I don't remember, you know, so you could do lifetime or whatever it is, but you, you can look specifically, but all of these are generally in the same range. And if you're an agency, you know, that pricing really shouldn't matter for you because you are just trying to figure out what works and what's reliable. So I hope that was helpful. If you want to read the blog post, I'm going to add different information in there. So you get more uh, from a technical perspective, but at least this way, you get a visual idea of what everything looks like. And I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, leave any comments below and don't forget to subscribe.